Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss the following problem. We're asked to evaluate the following line integral where f is a given vector field and we're asked to evaluate this line integral along this curly C. Now this curly C is the unit circle and we can describe this particular unit circle through this parameterization, this vector function here and um, the, the uh, motion that we trace out starts at t equals 0 and goes to t equals 2 pi so the direction would be in a anti-clockwise direction along the unit circle. Okay, so how do we evaluate this, this integral and um, what does it mean? Well, before we get to that, let's have a look at our vector field f. Now, th this particular vector field is known as a vortex uh, field or a vortex vector field because it sort of swirls around the origin in an anti-clockwise direction. Notice that it's not defined at the origin. Now, roughly speaking, this line integral, um, it, 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 it's a sign of how well f, it gives a measure of how well this vector field aligns with the unit circle parameterized by this, this vector function c. Okay, but the real question is how do we, how do we work out this integral? Well, essentially what we do is realize that this is just a so-called path integral. Okay, or a scalar line integral if you want to call it this. It's just the dot product of f with the unit tangent vector in the positive direction of motion integrated around the curve C with respect to arc length. Now this looks still a little bit abstract, but we can use our parameterization to reduce the problem down to a problem that we know. So essentially, we evaluate the vector field along the, the parameterization, take the dot product with the derivative of the parameterization, and just integrate normally with respect to t. And these upper and uh, lower and upper limits of integration are just, in this case, 0 and 2 pi. Okay, so we, we've got two parts to this problem. Evaluate big F along the parameterization and take the dot product with the derivative of the parameterization, then integrate. So let's do that. So F along C to, to get that, we just substitute in for x, cos t, and substitute in for y, sine t. Okay, we end up with something a little bit like that. Now notice we can simplify here. So it just reduces down to the following. Okay, so let's work out this derivative now. Now, to, to differentiate a, a vector valued function, all we do is differentiate each component with respect to t and write as a, as a new vector function. So if we differentiate the first component, it will go to negative sine t. If we differentiate the second component, it will go to cos t. Okay, so all we need to do now is take the dot product of this and this 
and integrate from 0 to 2 pi with respect to t. Okay, so it is the dot product of these two vector functions integrated from 0 to 2 pi. So if we expand this out, remember the dot product, you just take the first component, multiply it by the first component, take the second component, multiply it by the second component, and add up all the parts. So here, we're actually going to get sine squared t plus cos squared t dt. So again, we have a nice simplification here. And we're just integrating a constant. Now, in general, you probably won't get this kind of simplification. Usually, this is a function of t here. So we can in integrate that directly. And we get a final answer of, of 2 pi. So what, what does that mean, though? Sure, it's an answer, but what does it mean? Well, in en engineering and physics, this line integral measures the work performed by the vector field in moving a particle around the curve, curly C, in a particular direction. Um, another uh, application involves the so-called circulation. Okay? This particular um, parameterization, the, 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 the curve curly C, is a closed curve. It's just a circle. All right? And this particular line integral measures the, cir the so-called circulation of f around uh, curly c. Now, if f represents, say, the velocity of a fluid, then our answer here would represent the, um, the fluid flowing around the curve curly c. So as you can see, there are a lot of applications for these kinds of line integrals. They're very important. Um, Circulation also plays a very important role in the three fundamental theorems of vector calculus, such as Green's theorem. Okay, but that's the subject of another video.